This is the plaintiff, Andrew Charles Engelman. He says he rented a room in the defendant's house. And after he was there a short time, the guy rented another room to a third person, and none of them got along. Besides, the defendant had a key to his room, and he would enter whenever he felt like it without permission. That drunk then locked him out of the house. He paid the rent and security, and what he did was illegal. Bottom line, he moved out and is now owed $2,400 for prepaid rent. This is the defendant, Carlos Edward Lennon. He says the plaintiff was a slob who ate and left stinking rotten food in his room and it caused a bug problem. Thank goodness that guy moved out. But when he took off, he left a big mess for him to clean up. He had to have it professionally cleaned, painted, and had to fix the floors. Oh, him? No way. He's accused of not giving a tenant his privacy. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $1,500 for all he's out. All parties, please raise your right hand. You see to come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. <sighs> Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay. Andrew Charles Engelman, you are suing your former uh, roommates, I guess, and landlord for Carlos Edward Lennon for $2,400 that you say he owes you for rent for April and the last two months' rent. You are counterclaiming against him $1,500 for loss of time and having to take off of work and cleaning and finding a new tenant. Talk to me. What happened? All right. I moved in on January 11th. That was uh, Wednesday, the second week of January. Uh, when I moved in... Did you first... have a lease? No, there was no lease. It was, it was a month verbal? to month. Month yes, to month was, and verbal. Yes, okay. and uh, we discussed over text. You know, we have uh, uh, we have you know written confirmation of the agreement. You know, here. And, and the our, agreement was that you would pay how much? Is that I would uh, pay twenty four hundred, which was going to be the rent for January and the and whatever the last two months would be. Okay. So go on. What happened? All right. So uh, after I was there, um, uh, after my first week. Uh, he brought in another tenant to occupy the third room, so the three of us were all renting the house together. But that wasn't a surprise to you, though, right? Like you no, was, they right, were okay. you know three rooms, so mm -hmm. three people, and each of us paying eight hundred a month to the landlord, Rob. Okay. Uh, and Anthony, uh, not uh, yeah, Anthony was the third person who came in. Carlos okay. was acting as the rent manager, collecting eight hundred from both. So what went Anthony. wrong? Uh, on April 8th, that was the, uh, I believe, the second Friday in April, uh, and uh, Carlos began getting very angry and argumentative over me not texting him back because he claimed that there was a mess in my room. My room wasn't perfect, but I was keeping it in order. It was livable, and there was no oh, what major What do they care messes. about what, how your room looks? What, even, I don't even care how my daughter's room looks anymore. I've lost that battle 21 years ago. Like I, I'm trying to... What was the problem? It was super, super, super dirty. There was... Uh, like uh, bloody poopy underwears everywhere. He would. Oh cook. no! Now, now no. you're now we're talking about something different. You're talking about odor. Odor, filth, roaches. Um, okay. All right. So he, it's not that you don't care if he hangs all he can of do his he wants. clothes facing a certain way. It's <laughs> that it was affecting your peace and enjoyment of your part of the apartment. You're Carlos, and who are you? Brian. Okay. Do you live there too, or are you more? No. Friend and witness. Okay. So I can't imagine, well, maybe I'm wrong, but is that the first time he'd ever complained about the condition in your room, or was that the culmination of many other times that he'd complained? There were only two other complaints that he made about just general sloppiness, like clothes on the floor or papers. So he tells you that, what, what, let me see the text. And I, yeah, here's yeah. the text. And I also have pictures of the room, too. This is, you know, what it looks like. And, you know, as you can see, that no one, I, clean, it, I kept it clean myself. No cleaning was necessary. You have pictures? I yes. have pictures. All right. OK. Uh, uh, these are pictures that you took no, to prove you keep the room nice. So that's, yes. you already know that that's why you're taking the pictures. Can, can I Show see me those? now. Wait, I'm in the middle of something. Show me the text. Are these the text? Yes. Do you have it in your phone? I like seeing them in the phone. Yes, I have them in May my I phone as well. May I please see them in the phone? So on April 8th, does he tell? Oh, these pictures look very different. Yeah, that's probably after yeah, he cleaned the room. 
Uh, and there's, you, know, you could slide yeah. through them. You have to hit the arrow, the right arrow. See, yeah. And the problem with this picture, in this picture, there's about two or three weeks worth of food lying around, which attracts rodents, attracts roaches, and will stink, including a pan of chicken, a pan of fried chicken. It's just a skillet with about 20 pounds of food in there. I mean, and that's what he uh, did. Dude, you can't live time. like that. So anyway, what does he do? Like does he that. tell you he wants you to leave? Uh, you see, what, uh, none of that is actually mine. You see, Carlos had a key to my room that even though I locked it, he would be going in every day and doing who knows what. And Why often would he I do would that? If you were clean... perfectly, uh, if, if none of it was the way, if this... See, I don't you know, know if that's see, something that You haven't even seen the picture left. yet, so why don't you look at the see, picture I and have tell, no idea if that's okay, something Okay, can you stop was, talking and look at the picture? Yes. Look at the picture. None of that's yours. None of that is so mine, So he no. staged all that, that for is, court. That is not even something that I had to clean up one day while I was okay, there. So just a second. So he staged all that just to make you look bad in court, is what you're saying? Yes. So talk to me. What does he tell you on April 8th? Uh, on April 8th, he says... Can you clean, please, getting stinky? I said, it's probably the garbage, I'll take it out. And so, what happens? So, I take the garbage out, I clean it, I clean out the can so that it's, you know, uh, that it's, you know, perfectly clean again. I, you know, I cleaned the can in the bathtub and I took the garbage can and I took the garbage bag out, so it was How do you a end up moving out, a... sir? Let's get to that. What happens? Does he tell you to leave? Yes, he tells me to leave. Okay, and does he tell you to leave in a text? Yes. Okay, may I see that text? Yes. Thank you. On April 7th, he texts you at 640. You say, oh, it's probably the garbage. I'll take it out. He says, no, it's all the dirty food all over your room. You're disgusting. Clean your entire room and stop keeping food and garbage in your room. Fix yourself. And then he doesn't answer. So you say, are you reading this? He doesn't answer. So you say, get out tonight. I'm throwing yeah, I... your blank to the street. But I was trying hey, to be kind nice. Of, what do you mean? You were kind of impatient. That was a half hour no, after your first test. No, but that was not the most. I gave him the garbage can in his room full of garbage. I gave it to him. I gave him 100 garbage bags. He didn't have a garbage no, can in his room. This was, I gave him a vacuum. I gave him Windex. I gave him everything. He had a refrigerator. I was busy. No, I, I didn't to get to reading own. any of your texts. I'm coming back right now. If you now. look at the pictures, you he done, has a refrigerator ready to go? in his Why? room. So how, where do you come off, like, just demanding he leave no, right no, no, then? No. You have to give a... Hey! I'm talking here. Where do you come off telling a guy, you're out, you're out tonight? No, but that's You just... can't do that. I know I can't do you that. Are... I didn't do that. No. Get, find the off button on him and press it, because I'm about to really lose it. Oh. See, you are in the position of being a landlord, OK? And your landlord can say, get out tonight. Are you out yet? Your landlord has to give you notice. And when it's a month to month, you have to give 30 days notice. So where do you come off telling him, you're out tonight, I'm sick of you? like all at once like that. That's exactly what you said. That is what I said, but that's not, I, I just told him to leave, but. Are you got, out yet? And all because he didn't answer your texts in half an hour, you just were no, stewing and was, stewing. This was months of this. Had you been, you've been, tech, clearly you've been telling him clean up because yeah. I, nobody blows up all of a sudden with this kind of filth. You had been telling him that. I said, get out quick as possible. Yeah. And yeah, you can't do that. Can your landlord no. do that to you? No, I, right? I, you do get what I'm saying. Well, right? I didn't force him out. I said, well, please yeah, get out. Well, as quick it as worked. Possible. Right. You it told, did, it did yeah, work. you told him to get out, and he got out. What day did you get out? Uh, April 8th. I, I think the 8th was the date. It was uh, Friday. OK, so you got out that same day. Where'd you go? Uh, my folks, but I paid them rent. Right, right. But, yeah. but so you moved, you moved your stuff out. You went back with your folks. Yeah. All right, so that's April 8th. And then you had. Paid already for the month of April. That's right. Is that accurate? Yes. And you had paid two months in, um, two months, I don't know if we call it security or the last two months in rent, which you hadn't used up. That's so correct. he's suing for that. Why aren't you returning it? I paid it to him cash. No, he did not. You don't even claim to have paid him cash. Just a you second, just a second. I don't owe him anything. He just left in the middle of the night. The plaintiff lived there in April. Plus, he destroyed the room. I had to have it professionally cleaned and repainted. He ruined the bedroom set. Not once have you claimed to have paid him. When did that little genius idea come out of your brain to say that in court, when not once have you ever claimed 
to have paid him. It came out of my uh, mouth just now because he kept banging on my door. He came once, climbed through my window, and he came another day and banged on the door and said he was going to sleep. It, he said he was going to sleep in the house until I paid him. When, so I just paid him to get rid of him. Why wouldn't you have ever said that before now if it's truthful? You would think that if you're getting sued for money that you paid, the first words out of your mouth is, I paid it. Because I didn't pay him then, I paid him after that. This is the statement that you just signed. You made numerous changes on it for whatever you thought was missing. You added this, this is your handwriting, right? Mm -hmm. You crossed out things. You never once wrote you paid him. By the way, when you were sauntering in here and you both went like that, what was that about? Oh, I had some uh, crud on both my shoulder. Both of you exactly at the same time? Do you think yeah. this is a joke? Do you think this is a joke? Yes. Yeah. Get the hell out of my courtroom right now. Get out of my courtroom right now. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So, uh, if you move in with a roommate, do both roommates have a duty to keep a place clean? Yes, they do. That's sort of the thing when you're living with someone. If you respect yourself or each other, keep the house clean. There may be people who say, hey, it's not a big deal to me. I don't necessarily need to be clean all the time. If I want to live like a slob, I can. No, that's, that's not fair, I don't think, to the other person. You've got a duty to keep it clean. OK, do you? Absolutely. You've got to keep it clean 100% of the time. You know what, real quick, let's go to the guy with the dog. Maybe your dog craps all over the apartment. No, he doesn't, but uh, yeah, you have to be clean to live. That is a cute dog going inside the courtroom. What was it like living with them? Very bad. Uh, actually, I'm they pretty sure... They seem mean the... and dishonest. They are Well, I don't very... know about that guy. I really didn't talk to him, so I shouldn't say that. He seems mean and dishonest. You, however, are a pig, okay? I mean, I'm looking at that, and don't tell me that they staged that. They didn't stage that. There's a reason they wanted you out, okay? You, it's not, you can't live like that and live with other people. You shouldn't live like that and live alone, okay? You, got, you, got, you can't leave food lying around in your bedroom. It's going to bring stink, odor, roaches, all, all the other stuff. You can't. And I can see from the text that it wasn't a one-time, all-of-a-sudden thing. It was something that you were doing that you shouldn't do. You cannot, you have to be considerate of the people around you. But aside from that, it's just bad hygiene anyway. You shouldn't do it, all right? But I will pick any day someone who is a pig than someone who is a liar. Okay? So, number one... I'm going to order him to pay back the prorated portion, the rest of April that you weren't there, mm -hmm. which is, rent is $800? Yes. Okay. I'm going to order him to pay back the prorated portion for the rest of April after he threw you out, which he has no right to do, which is $586.66. I am also going to order him to pay back the $1,600 that you owed for the last two months that you had paid him for two months in rent that you didn't get to enjoy. And that's a total of $2,186.66. He has a counterclaim for $1,500, and since he chose to behave in a way that absents himself from the courtroom, do I hear any evidence on the $1,500? Hmm. Because I don't know a whole lot of judges who will be told by a litigant when they are asked, do you think this is a joke? Yeah, I think you're a joke. And then get a chance to litigate their $1,500. I just don't know. But let's see it anyway. Let's see what he did say about the $1,500. Loss of my time, having to clean the apartment, finding and taking a new tenant, and taking time off from work to do that. Let's see. Now, he threw you out, right? OK. So that's loss of his time. Zero on the counterclaim. That is my judgment. Thank you. Well, Mr. Leonard has been standing here outside the courtroom. It's not often somebody gets thrown out of the courtroom, number one. How do you feel about that? I feel great. You feel great? Yeah. You know, it's kind of silly what you said when she said, you know, about taking this serious, think it's a joke. And you said, yeah, why'd you do that? Well, honesty is the best policy my papi always taught me. Well, that's kind of a silly answer, quite frankly. I hope you'll well, learn I did have a couple bit. pineapples in the back and a bagel, a cinnamon well, raisin with cream cheese. He wants you to shut up. I think you, you should. Tell him to shut up. No comment. No comment. All right. Thank you very much. Good day, okay. Sir. Goodbye, Mr. Lennon. Okay. Here comes the plaintiff now. Well, you prevailed. Thank you. 
But I must say, those, those pictures didn't make you look like a very clean guy. Let's put it that way. Okay, what would you say? Do you really think he staged those pictures? I know for a fact he did. That is not how I was living there, and the pictures that I have reflect how I was actually living there. The room was clean, and he never had to clean anything. I actually had to clean after the other people while I lived there. Well, it was just a bad, a bad thing all the way around, right? Indeed. You glad you're out? Yes. I hope you are. Okay, thank good you. enough. Thank you very much. You must sign a few documents, and the door is that way. Thank you All very right, much. Thank you. Well, how about that, Harvey? What do you think? Okay, uh, Doug, the defendant is just a jerk. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but his fly was open almost the entire time in the courtroom.